Yo guys, just before the video starts, I would like to say that I do now have a spoiled credit code. So if you do use code adam-eu in the item shop and send me proof on, link, on one of my socials in the link in the description, I will follow you on there. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Other ones on me. Can't see. Thinking out loud, I've been smoking loud. Cops in the air, I sing for the crowd. Reach for the stars from my ground, leaving town. But this is everything that I ever wanted. Yo, what's up, guys? So today I'm just going to be doing another tutorial. Um, so firstly, what you want to do is in your downloads, you want to drag the song in. So just drag it down here. I'm using Wanted by Blanco. I'll leave a link down in the description to the video. Alright, so you got, what you're going to do is you're going to find the first beat drop here. Depending on how you want it, I'm going to make it so it's about 6 seconds from the beginning. So just around here, that should be perfect. So I'm going to make it a little bit, I'm going to make it like 7. So this is just the start of the song. Okay, so basically you want to find your first beat drop. Lock the audio here, just permanently. Find the clip that you want to find. So I found my clip, I'm just going to drag this in. Hold the edge and crop it down to however long I want it. So I'm going to drag it down to around 9 seconds just to allow time at the end for after I've clipped. Just here, drag this along here. And we're going to add some velocity. Do I'm just going to do some simple velocity. I'm not going to use my really good velocity that I've got in my editing pack. If you want to buy my editing pack, it'll be down in the description below. You can add a speed point on the hit markers. Go like 10 back, add another speed point. Look these two audios here that you've got. Set 200%. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Add another speed point. Change to 50%. Or you've just got your simple velocity. It's a very good velocity, but it will do. I'm sure you guys can use it if you don't want to buy the alien pack, but if you do, I have some really nice velocity in there. And what you're going to do is you're going to crop this first clip um, just a little bit. Zoom in on the B drop just here. And then drag it along till you see the hit marker on the kill so just there and then what you do is you're going to zoom out Ooh, I just accidentally adjusted that and drag it to the end then you're going to undo control R so sorry that's how you got the retime controls up and then drag that so fade in about three seconds and So that's what it looks like just with the normal velocity. I'm just going to add increase my two audio tracks a little bit just so you can fully hear everything. Yeah, and what you're going to do when you see the beat drop kill is just here. You're just going to, when you see the hit markers first in, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger just for you guys. Just here, you're going to press Control B and it will spit that. Just say Control B. Oh, not Control B, Control B. And then what you're going to do around wherever you feel like you want to do it, I'm just going to split mine here, you're going to press, do a split here, press control C on this, on this clip you split here, press it to the end, lock the top video track and delete these two audio tracks here, and then I'm going to drag this, not one layer up, but two layers up, it's kind of hard to do, you've just got to try force it, and then there, and then drag it perfectly on top here, then go into the effects tab down the bottom here, and drag an adjustment clip below it just here drag that along while selecting the adjustment clip go into the color tab and put the saturation down to zero then uh, in a previous tutorial I've done the Mr. Alex tech um, transitions I've showed you how to do it and stuff just do that again um, this is my, my most recent tutorial to when making this and I would do something like this you can adjust this depending on how much or like an impact you want, I'm going to do about 30 milliseconds like that. So it makes a clean transition into the black and white. And then on this one here, I'm going to do, just for this one, I'm going to do a BCC colorize. So while we'll selecting open effects, if you don't have BCC, um, in my editing pack there's a tutorial on how to get it completely for free. Like legit without, um, without cracking it because I know like me there's a lot of people that don't want to do stuff like that like crack it so I've got a tutorial in there how to do it but basically you're going to copy these settings if you have BCC um, so you're going to go into here you're going to do 5.5 five, you're going to go to highest 
you're going to scroll down a little bit more turn the threshold to the lowest um, overdrive mount the soften to 49.2 lighten just keep it like that 610 and color preset as none and then what you're going to do as you can see is black and white on top here that's because this is also um, what's it called this is also uh, black and white but you want to do the adjustment clip instead sorry I accidentally messed up and while selecting the adjustment clip you want to turn that to zero and then while selecting the top clip here again what you can do is quickly save your project as well and for smooth playback by the way guys I look at a little question about this click proxy mode and press quarter resolution it's a little easier and better and it just makes it easier if you know what I mean to see so right, while selecting this top clip you need to go to the color tab here press the circle adjust this oops sorry adjust this till it's on the character perfectly for you so it's probably skip a few frames in front so like here it'll be fine it's basically gonna be fine anyway but I'm just gonna do it for like around here uh, you're gonna adjust it to, like perfectly for like how big the character is so like you're gonna put the middle circle just so it's a little bit smaller and then you're gonna drag this circle out here a little bit and then here you're gonna right click on here press add alpha output and drag this to the blue so then it's like this and now you'll see you have a glowing character here it's quite laggy it is because um it cries a lot while playing so mo here and because as you can see here this is where you want the main actual effect to happen so you're going to just adjust this like move it depending on where you want it adjust the height size and stuff like that just wherever so you basically just go play around with this as much as possible until you get it perfectly so how you how you want it so let's see how this looks now So that is perfect that's absolutely perfect that is and we're just going to do a simple shake for this one i'm not going to do i've got a bunch of normal after shakes that um aren't in my edit uh, that are in my editing pack but i'm just going to quickly show you guys one that isn't in my editing pack just a sapphire impact shake if you want any non-sapphire shakes go back into my other tutorials and there'll be some there for you okay so if you just want to copy my settings here i'll scroll down scroll down um relatively quickly just pause it wherever you you feel need so this is just all mine. This is just a. This is just one that's not in my editing pack or anything. If you want to copy any of them, just copy all of them down and poison them where it's needed. And on the clip, you're going to keyframe this and this here. Halfway through the clip, you're going to put the zoom distance back up to one. And then at the end of the clip, you're going to drag the amplitude all the way down to the rest. Which is going to be a little bit laggy. So just here. I'm actually going to crop this a little bit just so it's like here. And I'm just going to adjust these again, so just because obviously it doesn't finish quietly in there, adjust it and drag that down. And I'm going to show you um, a simple glow effect just with the normal, the normal Da Vinci settings. I've never done any of this before. I just found how to get like a really clean one here today. So this is completely free. All you guys that don't have Sapphire, there's something here for you. Um, look up light rays this is really good it's better than normal glow and you're just going to copy these settings I'm about to put in now okay so for the settings you're just going to copy all of these here I'll scroll down slowly just there and the color is this this one just here it is just going to click on that and then press ok and this is what it look like now I'm just going to paste it in slow mo because it's quite laggy but there and then there Alright, so that's the first clip done. Then what you're going to do is just going to drag another new clip in. Okay, so I know I've got a sniper clip here. I know a lot of you guys have been struggling to find good sniper velocities. So I'm going to show you my favourite sniper velocity. Um, what you're going to do, press Control R again. You see here, when you see that you're going to scroll across, and when you see it's just about to shoot, just here, this is where I shoot here. All right, you're going to go back here, so just here, just before it shoots, you're going to lock this audio. Press Add a Speed Point. And then to when you see it hit, when the, it goes up just here, you're going to add another speed point there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to set this to 400%. And then leave your arrow, don't touch this red cursor, add a speed point, and set this to 50%. So look at this. That is such a good sniper velocity. Is. It's, so, it's such a good sniper velocity, I really recommend it. And then you're gonna obviously unlock all these now. Drag this across, lock it. Uh, I'm gonna show you a pre-shake now. A Da Vinci, a da, literally just a normal Da Vinci shake, but a pre-shake. So it's probably 
it's worth noting this because I haven't seen any of the people make any of these, any of these. So I'm just, I'm gonna give you some really custom content, I guess you could say. So um, just here you're gonna line up with the next B drop. So just here, drag this along. So just here, I'm just gonna adjust the audio just there. 6.98 and 8.72 just there. Oh my God, in so just there, I'm actually going to turn this down just because it's really loud. Okay, now what you're going to do on the clip, you're going to add a speed point, sorry, uh, control B it, and just before, so just here, you're going to do a uh, another, just like before you scope in, you're going to do another uh, control B. Drag the normal camera shake on and copy these settings here. So you're going to drag it to zero at the start, press the keyframe button, speed scale 1.5, so like 1.5.18 is perfect, drag the motion blur all the way up, pan amplitude all the way down, 706 for the tilt amplitude, tilt, um, yeah, tilt amplitude, rotation all the way down, 5.17 for the PTR speed, um, scroll down some more, just keep it sign, zero, all of that, and reflect. And then at the end of the clip, you're going to drag this up to 7.29 and it'll look like this. It's all a better, so I'm just going to show you a sniper clip just because obviously, with a um, with a shotgun clip the, or something else, it will look a lot better with the pre-shake. But I'm just going to do a sniper clip just because I really want to show you guys this velocity. And then for a Y shake. All you got to do, I know a lot of people want a Y shake, but I'm just going to literally, just a little tip for this, do the exact same as your pre-shake settings, yeah, but just you're going to keyframe the motion scale like on the other side of the clip, I'll show you, I'll give you an example, so just do the exact same settings again, like this, rotation, PTR speed it up a bit, turn the randomness scale down and change it to there, and you're going to keyframe from 729 from to like here, down, all the way down so it give like a little Y shake afterwards and there and then you're gonna put for example I'm just gonna put my really nice um S underscore shake this one that's in my editing pack behind it I'll show you uh, I'm not gonna show you the settings obviously but I'll just show you what it will look like um, this is just a really unique shake that I like using um, I'm gonna go here scroll down and I'm also gonna do some zoom distance as well just to give it a bit more of an impact so just like that, halfway through, just up there. So that's what it looks like. I'll just show it so it's fully rendered. So it looks really nice. If I were to use my own Y shake, this in the editing pack, I see what that, that looks really quickly. I'll just show you an example of what you you get with the editing pack. So I don't really, I don't really plug it that much. So what actually is in it? Because I know a lot of you guys are confused. But I'll, I'll show you really quick. So just here, all the way down. So it'll look like this, and then I'll take the, I'll, I'll actually I'll take the um I'll take the z distance out of this. So it'll look like this. You have got a little bit of RGB and stuff as well. It's really really clean as. But obviously we're not going to focus on that. So I'm just going to delete all of that real quick, and just go back to the this after shake here. And as well as this, I'm just going to show you guys a really nice color correction that I found. This isn't in the editing pack, but it's just something that you can use if you want to use it. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at, for example, just here. You're going to you're going to line it up, have it on the top top layer on the adjustment clip. Make sure you're selecting it and copy these settings here. Okay, the settings are literally just here. If you want to get to this tab, press this icon down here, press number two, and just add these two. It's really simple, but trust me, it makes a big difference. It's more like um an Excel. Is the editor XO is more of his like sort of um, color blind like um, color color grading settings, and I'm also just going to show you guys a um, just a transition that you can use. So S underscore twist swish pan. You're going to drag this on. You want it to be about um, 10 milliseconds long. I'm going to open the effects. I'm going to load my preset and I'll show you guys. I'll just adjust the settings for you guys. Okay, so here, these are just the swish pan settings. These are really, 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 really good settings for a swish pan. Like some of the best I've seen, I'll show you guys what they look like now. But it's just such a clean screen wipers. So I'd really recommend it. 
And also I'm just going to show you guys how to put an Ident on. So I'm just going to grab my Ident from my power bin just here. Drag the fusion comp drag the composition on while locking all of these so they don't get um affected. Because I know a lot of you guys struggle with this. So what you're going to do while selecting this, you're going to you're going to move the um color saturation brightness off the top and do shift space delta key. Add that. Drag the black balls down to the bottom and there. And I'll show you guys what it looks like now. This ident this is actually a template, so you can't really make this in DaVinci Resolve. But, um, yeah, so it's a template. If you look up on YouTube how to get like a free ident template, you can make it on After Effects. I then I know a lot of you guys don't know how to make outros as well, so you're just going to extend the final clip, drag these two down here to the bottom, drag these two audios down here, do a fade out here. So, just look like this, you're always going to put the proxy move down. So, on the next B job, when, when you want to do out, in titles you're going to drag a text on just here um, drag it along make it however long you want I'm going to make it like five seconds long probably I think that's around good and then type thanks for watching and then I'm going to leave a link to the font down below uh, you're going to use a big deal and you're going to uh, just download it and it is really easy to download and stuff you do all that copy these things here um, right click on it make it a compound clip then here you're going to search up shake uh, s underscore these are s underscore shake settings you're going to have to find something similar to this I really don't have a clue how, how you do this on um, normal DaVinci but you're going to add best, uh, copy these settings here basically drag it so it's you're just going to adjust this to whenever I'm going to make it like 3.4 actually a bit less sorry uh, and just copy these settings for an outro just to I'll scroll down and just pause it whenever you need to And that's literally how you make a how you make a sick outro, and uh, and then you obviously just put a Mr. Alex Tech vertical shake on because we love Mr. Alex Tech. Let's face it, boys, he's the absolute goat. But yeah, but that's basically it for the video, boys. If I did help you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Hope you guys enjoy. See you in a bit, boys. Bye.